This video is going to explain what's causing these vertical lines on an LCD screen. Vertical lines like these on computer monitors and LCD screens are a very common symptom. And if you've never run into this before, you might have a question, what's causing it? Do I need a new main board? Do I need a new timing control board? Do I need this? Do I need that? So we're, we're going to show you how to tell what it is that you need. Now notice we have the on-screen display out. And the vertical lines are covering the on-screen display. If those vertical lines disappeared behind the on-screen display, that would immediately tell us that the LCD, the screen itself, was fine. But this time, they're on top of the on-screen display. So immediately, that's telling us we have a screen problem. Now, what exactly is wrong with this screen that's causing these vertical lines? So let's walk around the back and take a look. Now, we've already disassembled this quite a bit. I'm going to show you these little boards here at the top of the screen. Usually, there's a big piece of metal across here. There's a right board and a left hand side board. Now if you notice the lines that we're looking at are all on the right side of the screen. So right away that would tell me there's nothing wrong here on the left side. All the problems here on the right side. Now a mistake that people make is they think well maybe there's something wrong here with my timing control board. And you can see I even labeled one, two, three, four. I labeled all these ribbon cables because you never know. So we can un disconnect these ribbon cables and swap them all around and turn them upside down. Unfortunately, that does not fix this problem because none of this has anything to do with the problem. And here's your main digital board. It's under this metal shield. That has nothing to do with the problem either. The problem is right here on the tab bonds. Now, there's a gold flexible cable here. There's five of them on this side. These flex cables are not soldered to the board. They're conductively glued to the board. I've never observed the manufacturing process so I can't tell you what it's like, but they are glued or stuck down. And experience shows that that glue becomes unstuck and when it does you get vertical lines. Now how do we know that? Because I'm going to stick my popsicle stick in here. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to flex these cables. Let's see if it makes any difference. Okay, here I am flexing the cable and look what it's doing to the lines. Oh look, I can almost get rid of it. All I'm doing is flexing that cable. So this bank of lines is caused by that cable. Now if you didn't have a whole lot of lines, you could try permanently sticking something in here, seeing if you could get rid of it altogether, cross your fingers, hope that it would not come back. Never worked for me. Always comes back. But other guys say they have luck. But you can see that this bond is bad. This bond is bad. So let's jump over here. We're affecting this bond. This bond is bad. Look at it. Okay, so here's another view. I took off this piece of metal that was across the front here, and that gives us a lot more access to the tab bonds. And this could be used for someone who just had maybe one line and was trying to get rid of it. I don't know how you could possibly even if you manage to get rid of all of these, that one went away, and you'd be putting in little wedges here or rubber pads. Let's see if we got rid of those. How could you possibly put in enough to get rid of every one of these? Because they're all broken. And the other thing that occurs to me, if this side is all broken, and there was a line here too, but I pressed hard enough and it went away. If this side is all broken, when is that side going to break? 
So, there you go. I guess if you have just one line, you could try it. But at least now you know what's causing it. So once again, I hope you found this useful and interesting. And I hope that it stops you from ordering boards that you don't need. Thanks for watching.